Hi guys, Ben here with another Swift Badminton video. This time we have gone truly international as I am in Jakarta, Indonesia. Jakarta is the capital of Indonesia, known for its bustling nightlife, street food, shopping malls, and of course, badminton. I'd say it is the place to be for badminton. Why? For starters, badminton is hugely popular here. It's like football in England or cricket in India. You literally can't go anywhere without seeing it on TV, whether it's on the news. Menjadi milik the minions. Indonesia memiliki kesempatan in a game show. Yeah! In the cinema. Or one of Indonesia's top badminton stars selling one product or another. From noodles. Mm. The hair wash. Smash, Bobada, Detol. Even TVs. But what really makes this place stand out? The crowds they get at their badminton tournaments, the fans, and the atmosphere they can create at any badminton tournament. You are guaranteed that the crowd are going to be loud and the place is going to be absolutely packed to the rafters. Words can't describe what it's like, so I won't even try. Just check this out. <laughs> Crazy, right? Let me tell you this. Live, it is 10 times louder and 10 times crazier than this. How do I know? I actually got the honor and the pleasure of playing in front of that crowd twice in the 2008 Thomas Cup, the World Cup of badminton. As a 21 year old obsessed with badminton, having grown up hearing all the stories my mum had told me about playing out here, this was a literal dream come true. Not only did I get to play in front of that amazing and crazy crowd, rub shoulders with the best of the best but they also got to see some of the most awe-inspiring badminton right up close. Some of which didn't even happen in the Astora Stadium. No, it happened in the practice hall. This practice hall right behind me. And that's exactly why I'm here today. Although this place has changed quite a bit since I was last here, I had to come back and revisit some of those old badminton memories. Let's go check it out. It was in this hall that I had so many amazing badminton memories from that tournament back in 2008. I remember on the court next to me, Marcus Kido, the 2008 Olympic champion, doing a defensive routine, 45 minutes straight against four players, just going absolutely hell for leather on him. Couldn't get a single shot past him in the entire time. On the court next to that, Chinese team doing a three on three match that looked like it was played at triple speed. It was absolutely ridiculous. Rallies were going on and on and on. The shuttles were just pinging back and forth so fast. It was amazing. On the court down the end, Lee Chong Wei, truly godlike in his badminton ability, doing a defensive drill, getting shots back that were just not humanly possible, or shots that I didn't think were humanly possible anyway. I distinctly remember just standing on court, forgetting I was there to train, in absolute wonderment, my mouth agape at these players. They were just so amazing, so ridiculously good. I kept thinking to myself, how the hell am I going to be as good as that one day? It would be a shame to come all this way, come to this amazing new facility, and not actually try it out. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I've got my kit, booked to court, and I go out there and hit some shuttles.
Wow, what an amazing session that was. Two solid hours of badminton. One thing about this new facility that is much better than the old one is the air conditioning. In the old place, you'd literally be sweating your balls off just putting your shoes on. And your racket would feel like it could just fly at your hand at any moment. Talking of racket, at Swift Badminton, we receive numerous emails all the time asking us which racket should you get. Selecting a racket in this day and age can be both daunting and confusing. The amount of options out there just seems to be endless. It is a literal minefield, even if you know exactly what you're looking for and even if you know the ins and outs of every single part of a racket. That is why at Swift Badminton we have simplified this process. You don't have to go through pages and pages of online badminton forums or trawl through hours and hours of online racket reviews. We have created a very short quiz. The end of it is going to leave you with the perfect racket for you. It's going to complement your style and help you improve your badminton game no end. To take the quiz, simply click on the link in the description below and follow the steps. It really is that easy. It's been really good to come back to this place, revisit some old badminton memories, and of course, get a solid badminton session in. As always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more future badminton content. See you next time.